shit. recording all the shenanigans I got going on um, and put it on the channel maybe build this channel up a bit uh, but today I'm doing a clutch uh, my 95 Civic EG it's got a 5063 turbo uh, log manifold let me show you 5063 journal bearing eBay turbo just you know cheap log manifold eBay intercooler kit really not the best I think it's only like two and a quarter inch piping but it works for this little D-series. Um, so I'm doing a clutch. This clutch is absolutely destroyed. I turned the boost up last week to 8 PSI. I was running about 3 just while I was tuning. But uh, yeah, I destroyed this clutch. This clutch is pretty old. I don't know the miles on it, but it at least got a few years on it. Destroyed the pressure plate. This stuff's not that expensive anyway, so I ordered a new clutch and pressure plate, and I already have a flywheel that I'm gonna use. The flywheel on this is completely done in. You can see on the transmission, uh, there's a bunch of little pieces from the clutch that just exploded. I'm also gonna be, uh, if I can get a right angle on this, uh, redoing this down pipe we're not down pipe but the uh, charge pipe for the turbo you can see where it's actually hitting here I had it further away but it's kind of migrated to where it's hitting the flange there or the uh, hose clamp so my idea is I'm gonna try to clock the turbo back I'm pretty limited on this because of how this oil line is with the manifold but I'm gonna clock the turbo back just just a hair, bring this outlet out just a little bit, and then I'm gonna cut, cut here. And I just did this real shitty. Uh, put this here so it doesn't rub a hole in it. But I like to bring this pipe up higher as well because this thing sits pretty low. It's about just as low a hair lower than the actual downpipe. And uh, the car is already not extremely low, but it's low. But I'm gonna bring this up cut here to bring this pipe further up and I'll put a uh, piece of sil I'll put a silicone uh, joint there so that's what I'll be doing today as well as the clutch the clutch will be coming in in a few hours and I'll be changing the mount on the T bracket as well because it might as well it's not in that good a condition just torn on one side but might as well, you know, while I'm here. I'm looking around because this axle's completely screwed. Um, it's split there, but it's popping out right here. It pops out and just, I have two other uh, short axles that I'm gonna look at and see if they're the right size. They're, they're in good condition, so I'm gonna replace that as well. I'm also gonna put a, uh, a pusher fan or just, you know, there's regular eBay fans on here on this uh, radiator. I'm going to put it on the front and change the blades around. Uh, I'll probably just make another video when I do that. But uh, because how this turbo is mounted, the, the stock radiator fans, the shroud ends like right here. So it's really hard to get a piece of pipe over this and run it over somewhere with a filter also uh, my plan is uh once i just have a clean radiator on this side and the fan on inside here on this side um i'll be able to build a i'm gonna take some sheet metal and build a shroud that uh is gonna force the air kind of down and to the front and underneath where the pipe is so that i don't have complete hot ass air blowing on the uh inlet there and heating up my my intake pipe and then i'm going to figure out how i'm going to do a filter and if i'm going to run it down below the uh, frame or up into here but that'll be another video so the story is uh i was tuning and i was happy where it was i, I did a last pull 
Uh, it was on 8 PSI. Uh, AFRs are good. I didn't want to push the stock motor any further. But I left, or I left later to go in town to get a pizza. And I did a, leaving my house, I did a little second gear pull. I didn't drop the clutch or anything. It was already in, it was already in gear. I just was riding second out. And I just fucking roasted it. And uh, as I'm slowing down, and I'm, I went to fourth gear, and then I went to fifth. And as I was slowing down, I realized that I completely lost the clutch. I had nothing. And I guess that's... Uh, the whole that whole front side of that clutch just completely came apart. So just loosen those up with the breaker bar and I'll take them out the rest of the way with the impact. I'm pretty sure it's okay to impact these out. You just gotta be really careful because it is a 12 point. But uh definitely do not impact them in. But take them out, it's okay. There we go. Okay, so I got the compressor housing loosened up. Just kind of bring it out towards the front. So I'm trying to make clearance here, but mainly clearance here. I don't know if you can see that from that angle, but this 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 uh, pipe was here was leaning up against the header right next to it and I, I want to wrap I'm gonna wrap the header and I'm gonna wrap this as well but just gonna try to get it as far away as I can from it so I'm just gonna bring the turbo out probably as much as I'm gonna get out of it so I don't want it too close to here because it's going to be hitting this bracket here. Although I may end up just cutting these off. Anyways, so. That's about right right there. It's a lot better. So I got the mount off. Really, it's not in as bad a condition as I thought it was. But there is some play in it. It's ripped a little bit on this side. But anyways, here's the new mount. Might not even be any better. It is tighter, though, but eBay mount might not last as long. I don't know. We'll see. This motor won't be in here that long because... Uh, gonna be getting that Vitara block in there soon enough so we'll see how it holds up so I got my clutch in uh, this is the one that just came in it's a stage two this is a stage one that I've had for probably two years now I was gonna do a stock rebuild but I just wanted to show the differences on these the actual clutch this is the stage two Material feels and looks about the same, but the only difference I'm really seeing is uh, the springs here. This stuff is a little darker. It's like an orange. has an orange tint to it. Another thing I noticed is, look at the backing plate here. You can see how it's, it's actually mounted with through these little metal uh, shims that go, I guess, around the the outside disc where the uh, pads kind of, uh, I guess these things are uh, like a, a rivet, I guess. But you see how that's, that's together, right? And then if you look at the stage two, it's a solid piece of uh, steel or aluminum all the way around. There's no gap. It is a little bit heavier, too. Oh, and by the way, these are both the same brand. These are Clutch Max um, pressure plates and, obviously, clutches. But uh, here's the Stage 2. This is the Stage uh, 1. And not really much of a difference. I don't even know if there is a difference. There should be. I would expect a spring rate on the... Uh, 
on the fins here to be stronger for more clamping pressure. But it looks about the same. All right, so I'm pressing in the pilot bearing into the uh, flywheel. Um, I'm using a rubber mallet. It's got a bevel on the uh, backside, on the inside ridge, and this fits in, it goes in, and when it hits that bevel, it'll, it'll bottom out. Uh, don't try not to bang on the bearing too much. If you use a socket, try to get a socket that's the exact size of this outer metal uh, ridge here. Is metal case don't bang on the center and also uh, don't use any grease on this because you don't want this spinning inside inside the uh, housing so I'm just using a rubber mallet it's not so bad it'll it pops right in you can see there the ridge is right up against there you can't really see it because now the uh, bearings up against it but it's about as far as it goes in all right so I'm putting the uh, bolts in now I went and uh, cleaned the uh, surface of this flywheel. Try to get all the. Uh, they put. Uh, they spray an oil film on the uh, surface so it doesn't rust. Got to clean that off. Didn't have any brake clean, so I just used uh, soap and water. But I'll go ahead and torque these. And then I got to go clean the pressure plate as well. All right, so I'm torquing these to uh, 87 foot-pounds, uh, but I'm just going to get them sort of hand tight in a cross pattern. I think actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do 40 foot-pounds, and then I'm going to go to 87. Maybe I'm just... Uh, being pretentious about it, but why not? Okay, now I'm gonna go 87. Clutch disc in, kind of lined up on there. And now for the pressure plate. So I'm just gonna put these in by hand and then Tighten them down hand tight. And then I'm gonna torque them to uh, 20 foot pounds. This clutch disc straight when I tighten it down. Okay, they're starting to bottom out. Now I'm gonna get the torque wrench and torque them 20 foot pounds. You got it in, torque down. Go ahead and uh, pull this out. Gonna wipe away 
some of this excess grease. I don't want this getting up into the disc. All right, it looks pretty close. Might be a hair off and guess I'll find out when I try to put the transmission on. All right, so now I'm gonna be doing a throw out bearing. Uh, I'm gonna grease the shaft, clean up the uh, fork and uh, grease the pivot point here. And I'll show you when I am got this off. All right, so I greased the uh, shaft here and the little ball, as well as I put some grease inside of the, uh, the little divot for the ball as well. And then I put some for the uh, slave cylinder there too. And this spring here, I'll just show you how it goes in. Uh, it goes in this way with it facing downwards and you just take the uh, the end, the curved end there and it goes into this little slit like that and these fall down in there and then you, you, pre you uh, pull them in and they go into the sides like that and then when I put this over the ball it's gonna, the ball is going to go into here and these, and these both sides of these uh, spring steel, whatever this is, um, will catch underneath the ball and, and hold it in there. And then your throw out bearing just slides. It has two little uh, detents here, little catches, and they just, just goes on just like that. I almost forgot you gotta uh, put some grease around the outside of this uh, housing because the throw bearing will slide on this. This is just gonna come through here. Throw out bearing goes on. All right, and then I'm gonna set this fork over the uh, spring steel. All right, it's locked in now. That's it, nice and smooth. So what I'm doing, got the jack up underneath the transmission, jacking it up, trying to line it up and then uh, get it close, take off some of the weight and then I'm gonna pick it up and try to slide her in. Try to make a, give you guys a shot somehow of this. Now the fun part. Oh yeah, this mountain's gonna be a problem. Forgot about that. Shit. All right, got her halfway bolted up. It's always a pain in the ass. But this time was actually easier than last time. Damn, well, that's as far as my jack goes up. Shit. 
gonna put a jack stand on the transmission and so I can put a piece of wood on my jack. And uh, that way I can get the transmission up a little higher. Well, for some reason, this, uh, this nut here is a 19. I don't know if it's off of something else or... All right, I'm gonna do the torque mounts. Uh, and then I gotta put the uh, linkage on, the uh, slave cylinder on, and the starter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I got the new clutch line on with the new slave cylinder. Gonna go ahead and bleed it. I hook up a little aquarium tube up to it. I think it's a quarter inch. Down to, it goes to the very bottom here. So the air has to be above it. So the air goes up, travels up, and then it can't, when I let go of the clutch, it doesn't go back in, air doesn't suck air back into here. But here's the uh, fitting up here. I'm gonna have to do something different here because I'm not gonna be able to fit my intake on right here with this, uh, with this uh, line here. So I'm gonna have to get a piece and Maybe AN or something to make a, a, a fitting that goes sideways. I can put it like this. But I'm going to go ahead and bleed this now. Doesn't look like it's flowing anything. Might just have this not loose enough. I hope. Went dry there. Can't let the uh, master, let the, can't let the clutch master uh, reservoir go dry, sucking air into it. I'm trying to get all the fluid out, and also I got to get the fluid level high enough so that. Uh, I don't suck any air back into the lines. I think I'm pretty much almost there. Usually I have it where I have it sitting up on the window or something where I can see it, and I have a bottle that I drilled out for a hose and it stays put and everything. It's longer, I can't find it. I can't find my uh, wrench, my eight millimeter, so I'm just gonna use this to snug it up. That way I don't take the line off and put any air into the system. I couldn't get the line wrench over this, uh, over this tubing. This is going to piss out on me. It's going to create a siphon, so I got to go above it. See whether or not I got good 
good engagement on the clutch. Feels like a proper clutch now. Before my clutch was really screwed up. It, I was leaking, uh, was leaking out of two different places because uh, some whoever put it on, uh, they stripped the uh, this how they stripped the the threads right here on the old line, and then it was leaking at the flex line too. So I was having to pump the clutch, and it just wasn't a good time. This feels really good. Also, it feels a little stiffer because it's the stage two. So hopefully. Hopefully it drives good. Well, I'm calling it a night. It's 12 a.m. And I've been working on this thing since 8 a.m. I had a lot of things to do. I had to run around, do a few things. But so all I got to do now is put the intercooler piping on, put some uh, fluid in the transmission. And since I clocked the turbo differently, I'm going to have to uh, make some adjustments on the intercooler. But I couldn't find a coupler today. So I'm going to have to order one and just make do with what I have now. And then I got to put the radiator back in, put some coolant in it. And that's it. She's ready to go. Got to break in this clutch and somehow restrain myself and stay out of boost. It's the next day. Time to get this thing rolling. I had to uh, improvise a little bit. I cut the pipe here so I could bring it over more. It wouldn't fit on there right with the, now that the turbo is clocked over. So I cut it here, put this on. I got to order another two inch coupler, but this might hold boost. It should. Um, if it doesn't, whatever. I got to break the clutch in anyways. So it gives me some time for that to be delivered. I got three axles here. This is the one that was in the car. Um, so I, this one looks the best out of this out of all. This one's in okay shape, but it's just rusted. And so gonna try this one out. Make sure it fits. Spline should all be the same. Well, guys, look, I've got some good news for you. San Francisco. So I'm running uh, 1040 uh, Mobile One in this transmission. Uh, going a little thicker just because this transmission has really, really been beat on bad. And it's gonna be beat on more, so. Synchros are really gone in this thing. It, it grinds almost every gear. Last guy, not for me, but the last guy who had it. They were just beating the shit out of it. The clutch wasn't right. And so they were just wearing the synchros out, trying to get it in gear. So 
So you just fill it up until it starts to drain out. So I'm just gonna wipe down this transmission, you know, get it from dripping all over the place. And then I'm gonna put this intake pipe in on. All right, wheels are on, radiator in, cooling in, transmission good, intercooling pipe be good. About to lower it down, back it out of here and uh, see how she runs. I gotta put some air in the tires and then top off the coolant and then uh, take it for a drive. Set them all to about uh, 30, 32 PSI. Maybe a little high for those tires, but Let's try this again. I'm gonna have to get used to the clutch. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, fuck. Spun the tires up on the gravel here, just uh. Letting it off easy. I'm surprised if being a sprung clutch, it, it fucking it doesn't really slip at all. I figured they were supposed to. Holy shit. Wow. This is gonna be taking some time to get used to. This driving good. Uh Blow-off valve's not working for some reason. It's getting a lot of uh, turbo stutter. So this concludes the video. Uh, it's running, driving. Runs good. Clutch is something I'm going to have to get used to. I installed a Stage 2 in another Civic. It didn't quite drive like this one. This one grabs a lot harder, and it's the same brand. Well, if you guys like this content and want to follow me along with my builds, uh, subscribe to me. Give this video a like if you liked it. I'm still getting used to uh, recording and editing videos, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. I'll be showing more of my personal stuff, but also some hooning with my buddies, and they're all their Turbo Civics, and I'll see you all on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.